Now, um, okay, now the first question is coming from Richard. Richard recently enrolled in my 60 challenge. That's why he's trying to set up this two-step funnel framework. But if you're new to this two-step funnel framework, let me give you a quick introduction about what is that all about, right? So fundamentally, the two-step funnel framework means we will have two ads running simultaneously. Now we call it T1 and T2, tier one and tier two fundamentally now. The tier one ad is really to help you go out and reach fresh audiences that might be interested in your product or services. Uh, this is where we call the evergreen, um, you know, fresh audience targeting campaign. So that's the tier one ad. Now, once we reach the use the tier one ad to reach the fresh audiences, you know, then we will capture them based on action taken. So it's either they, they actually uh, uh, watch the video or they click and go to your website and whatnot, right? So these are different audience qualifiers that we will use to pick up. So now, once they take this action, we will then stop showing the tier one ad to them because we don't want to waste money on them anymore so that we can keep making sure that the tier one ad is always reaching the fresh audience. Now, in turn, we will start showing them the tier two ad, which is you know the second advertisement, which is fundamentally to actually follow them for a while to persuade them to take the action that we want them to take. So that's the tier one and tier two. Now, uh, basically, these two ads, the tier one, tier two, should go out simultaneously because the moment they see the tier one ad, they go out and, you know, they should be starting to see the tier two ad. So that's the framework that we have been using uh, in, in, in the past many years and helping thousands of audience, I mean, Facebook advertisers uh, to advertise on Facebook in an entirely different way. So we teach this in our six day challenge. Um, I would strongly recommend that you look at that, the six day challenge It's a very good program. Now, Richard is actually setting up tier two, but he's seeing this problem. Now, if you're doing lead generation, we usually will use either tier one lead gen, tier two, either messenger lead gen or, you know, things like that. So we discuss in great detail, why do we want to use two different objectives to play on this one? Um, so when it comes to tier two, I believe this is the question. I think Richard already found the solution uh, because when it comes to messenger, if there is something that you do not know, messenger has this lead gen mechanism, which is very similar to the lead form. However, you know, the beauty of it is uh, they, people don't even need to submit form or whatnot. You know, their phone number will become button, they click, they give it to you. Their email will become button, they click, they give it to you and stuff like that. It's a very powerful way. So if you are doing this lead gen mechanism, you can only select Messenger. You cannot select Instagram direct and anything else. So that's a bit of a, some technical hiccups over there. But don't worry, I think, Richard, you found a way. So if you want to use the Messenger lead gen, uh, you know, inside Facebook Ads Manager, there is this objective called the messages objective under which um, is to help you get people to talk to you on the messenger level. Now, um, if you, are, you want to use the lead gen mechanism, which is a very powerful one, you can only choose the messenger platform. 